Welcome everyone to today's Research in Focus seminar and um, thank you all for coming. My name's Hannah Timpson, I'm a Health and Wellbeing Researcher at the Applied Health and Wellbeing Partnership here at the Centre for Public Health at John Moores and I'm going to be chairing the session today which is all around exploring the impact of evaluation in Wirral. So our first speaker today is Phil Dixon. Phil is a volunteer member of Life Expectancy Wirral Steering Group. Now retired, Phil was formerly Head of Environmental Health at Wirral and was Chair of Environmental Health Cheshire and Merseyside. Phil's work involved improving public health in the region and developing revision of the region's public health strategy. As a church leader, Phil became aware of Life Expectancy Wirral when attending a summit and subsequently became a member of their steering group. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, Phil Dixon, correctly described as a volunteer member of Life Expectancy Wirral, but in, in, in a former life, not too many uh, years ago, was uh, head of Environmental Healthy and a strategic uh, manager of the Environmental Health Service in, in Wirral Council. Uh, and I had the pleasure in, in that role of uh, chairing the Environmental Health. Cheshire and, and, and Merseyside, which was the Chief Environmental Health Officer group for, for the region. Originally Merseyside then grew to incorporate uh, Cheshire uh, and uh, had great pleasure in, in that context in working with Dr. Sam Gabriotti. Is that the right uh, uh, pronunciation? Some of you will know, most of you will know Dr. Sam in uh, developing uh, revision of the health protection strategy and also worked uh, with uh, NHS Wirral in development of the kind of public health strategy. I mentioned that not to kind of glorify Phil Dixon but to just to give some context of the environment in which Dan has been working with a number of chief officers and chief executives and even the Bishop of Birkenhead and she's done an extremely uh, credible uh, uh, she's had an extremely credible and encouraging involvement with us, which we very, very, very much uh, appreciated. Um, in, in, in my role in environmental health in the town hall in, 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 in Wallasey, a, a, a document came across my desk, a government document from the Improvement Development Agency. Am I stepping in front of the screen? Okay. Be worried about the silhouette there. Is that better? It <laughs> <laughs> uh, became aware of, of a government document um, from the Improvement and Development Agency, um, which is uh, which the, the, the title of which is a glass half full. Which some of you, obviously, some some nodding will, will be be aware of that document, where, and it promotes the ethos of asset asset based community development. That's the kind of phrase we're now, we're now describing, aren't we? And I know Gareth is, is in the audience, had a good chat with Gareth earlier on, who's very much into that ethos. And, and as a Christian, and as a church leader in, in the Wirral, I, I, I saw in that document a mandate for mobilising the local church and the, the faith uh, organisation across the Wirral to rise up and be more effective in engaging with communities in the context of uh, being the best asset they could be or can be to, to, to the local community. Um, Asset-based community development, if you don't know about it, I'm sure you do, but it talks about community networks, it talks about relationships, it talks about friendships, and I think a church environment is a perfect environment to, to, to encourage that. It talks about empowering communities to control their futures. Uh, and again, I think that's a perfect environment in which the church can, can, can uh, and work with their local community. What things makes us, make us strong? What things make us healthy? What things make us more able to cope in times of stress? What makes this a good place to live? Uh, and, and my passion is um, to encourage the church to work with local communities to bring about improvement in all of those aspects of, of, of community life and community engagement. But at the same time as that, uh, whilst working with Warborough Council, I had opportunity to represent Warborough Council and the Council Chief Executive at a, a summit event 
that was being held by this organization, this uh, emerging organization called Life Expectancy uh, Wirral. And as a result of that, I actually became a member of the Life Expectancy Wirral Steering Group. That ultimately, ultimately, and the ethos of asset-based community development actually informed a decision to take early voluntary retirement in order to work in the faith community to encourage that ethos and to uh, promote the uh, um, uh, pr pr promote the, the life expectancy world aspirations to make a difference and to improve health in our community. Life expectancy world was developed by the Church of England Diocese of Chester in response to an approach to Bishop Keith Sinclair, Bishop of Birkenhead, by the leader of the council, Steve Fox, and, and, and by um, the, the chief executive, Steve Maddox. And they were concerned that the people of Wirral, on the Mersey side of the Wirral, die an average of 12 years younger than those living on the D side. And that's a, a significant issue of concern, both for the NHS, for the, uh, for, the, for the council, and for the local community, and of course, for the faith community. What are we gonna do to redress that balance, and to make a difference, uh, and to address that concern? And so the, the, the aim of life expectancy world <coughs> is to enable Christian communities to respond to the issues surrounding the unacceptable differences in life expectancy on the world. And I'm about to press a button, and I'm not quite sure which button to press. <laughs> this all could be a miracle, is it that one? Which one do we press on the mouse to move it forward? Thank you. There we go. Like the chief. Well, the chief presser. Press. press. That one there, okay, good. Uh, our, our, our aim is to enable Christian communities to respond to the issues surrounding the unacceptable differentiation in, in life expectancy on, on the world. And we want to work in collaboration with churches, with communities, with the local authorities, uh, with the NHS, with whoever, in order to make a difference and to redress that unacceptable balance and to deal with inequality, to tackle inequality on the world to raise awareness about the issues of concern. And we live to do that by way of addressing, obviously, and improving our responses to the to social determinants, <laughs> to, to five ways to, 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 to well-being, um, to asset-based community development, uh, and to community resilience. And we're building a partnership and building up the work that we do uh, to try to give a credible response uh, in response to, to, to that concern. We challenge churches to work together in partnership with others in response to, to that concern. But what we do, we try to identify and to encourage and promote positive examples of where the faith community are doing, are being proactive and effective in addressing those concerns. Raising awareness of, of poverty and life expectancy on the world hosting events that bring people together, and some folks in the audience have attended those, uh, disseminating information, encouraging partnership. We run a pairing program which pairs a church in, a, in, a, in an affluent area with churches in an area of poverty and deprivation. <coughs> and we bring them together to bring mutual encouragement and support, to learn lessons from each other about the, the nature of poverty, and, and then to do something proactively together to engage in the community. And Gail has actually identified in her report the positive benefits that that can have, not just on the community, but on the folks actually involved in delivering those positive things uh, to the folks around them. That the positive benefits to those who are themselves volunteers and the health benefits that they can gain from actually being proactive in helping others in, in, in their community. And that speaks, doesn't it, into five ways to well-being <coughs> as well. Uh, acting as an information guidance support hub for churches wanting to get involved in social action and tackling issues affecting life expectancy. And we're seeing some very positive examples across the world of where churches are working together 
to address those issues of concern. One of those has been uh, a Green Spaces event where we're encouraging churches and volunteers to use the, the assets of green spaces in their community as, as, uh, as a means to improve uh, exercise <laughs> and improving health and improving uh, um, uh, relationships within the community as they get out uh, from their front rooms and, and engage with each other in, in friendship and partnership and activity in uh, their local green spaces and that's been particularly successful. We felt extremely privileged to have been identified by you as being worthy of your attention. That came as quite a surprise to us really and a, and a significant encouragement to us. Maybe we are doing something that is having a positive effect and, and is being recognised. And uh, we very much appreciated working with Gary, very much appreciated, not just empty words, very much appreciated in, in, in working with her. Gail's report will be of uh, great value to us. And I'm going to try and press that button again. Come back. Gail's report has been of great value to us. And uh, she's, she's encouraged us by telling us that for every one pound input that we put in, there's five point five five pounds fifty three uh, kind, of, kind of profit of social value being generated my goodness that came as quite a shock to us really you know is that possible it is possible because it's mainly delivered by volunteers uh, working in, in their community and uh, that's extremely uh, encouraging Gail do you want to say anything to that I know Gail's got a very uh, bad cold at the moment but I don't want to pass the opportunity if she wants to say something about that evaluation Okay. Okay. Good. <coughs> Not only has, has, has Gail identified a whole range of, of, of benefits that life expectancy rural achieves, uh, some of which we, we ourselves were surprised that uh, we hadn't considered or appreciated, but she's also made some very competent recommendations as to how life expectancy will might move forward into the future and Gail's presentation to the life expectancy steering group bearing in mind that that includes some ex-chief officers some chief executives and even a bishop of Birkenhead her, her report to, to that steering group was extremely confident and extremely competent and we will be looking for an opportunity for Gail to present her findings to a much wider audience at uh, the next summit event that, that uh, we are planning to hold in, in the world. Those summit events are usually very, very well attended uh, and it's a brilliant opportunity to hear uh, of your research and of what she's actually done in the context of, of, of that evaluation. Gail has made some recommendations to us, which, which for us, which we will now uh, take on board. Um, I, 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 and... Uh, we will be looking now at, at an informal charter for churches to sign up to. So we, we roll out the ethos and the encouragement uh, and the opportunity for more people to get involved uh, and to be involved more effectively and more proactively by ideally signing up to a charter that says, yes, we support this initiative. Yes, we want to demonstrate our concern. Yes, we want to work with you and others to, 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 to meet that concern. Um, to set out what poverty is in the context of Wirral, uh, to talk about partnership and pairing, and to talk about how we might improve community relationships and partnerships. One thing we're keen to do, uh, and we already have some very good strong allies on the Wirral that will be able to facilitate this, we want to forge links with young people, with schools, uh, with youth groups, and there's a, already a good foundation for that because churches engage with young people and young people engage with churches and youth groups. So there's already a good opportunity to invest in the future and to raise awareness about some of the concerns that, that we have. And we particularly want to do that 
in, in, our, in our local schools and we've got some good already existing organisations that can help us deliver that who we work in partnership with. One of the things that has come out of our, of our, of our um, uh, 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 summit events uh, has been when we ask people to identify problems, a constant, constant recurring theme has been communication, 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 communication. We need to talk to each other better. We need to uh, spread we need to give information about our concerns more effectively. Uh, and one uh, 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 area that Gail has identified that we could do better with is an improved website with more information uh, that will encourage involvement from local churches. As it happens, and Gail probably wouldn't have been aware of that, I'm actually currently working with churches together in Willow to improve that very networking across the faith co community. So we are all, uh, at the very moment improving that website and we uh, take uh, Gail's recommendations very seriously on board. Um, we want to link that in with Wirral Well, with uh, voluntary community agencies on Wirral, uh, so that we, we, we significantly improve the, the facility to network uh, and get the information out to those who, who, who need to hear it. We will continue to have some life expectancy world <laughs> summit events to promote good practice, to learn from each other, uh, and to uh, uh, become more expert, more um, credible, to have greater integrity as we learn to, 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 to respond to the concerns that I've mentioned. And so we want to continue building on existing relationships, look at new partnerships, new ways of working, who can we engage with, who can we encourage, who can we support, who can we learn from that will uh, expand our uh, effectiveness in dealing with this awful, awful, unacceptable problem in discrepancy in life expectancy in our borough. Hopefully we'll be able to meet some of those aspirations not perhaps academic reports, maybe a little bit passionate, uh, but that's uh, our appreciation of what Gail has done. Thank you very much. Questions? <laughs> 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 Thanks, Phil. That was really, really interesting.